wanted to mention about this fire that's been going on in New Zealand that's also has been going on unprecedented unprecedented in Australia I believe is most definitely due to all of the recent earthquakes that has been going on in New Zealand since November 13th when they got hit with that 7.9 and what happens is when you have these earthquakes they release huge amounts of methane and sulfuric acid and all kinds of uh, toxic events uh, into the atmosphere that dry up the air this is also the reason we have had all of the beach whalings because you've had, and people don't understand this, no one understands what caused all the beach whalings. Well, when you have all this volcanic activity, sorry, earthquake activity, um, and also there was a lot of earthquake activity in the southern end of Australia recently. They had several 5.0s um, that's also been very toxic to the oceans which in turn affects the whales and god only knows what else is dead down there but that's just the ones that beach themselves but i believe also the kermitic islands because they've been having earthquake activity i believe that the kermitic islands which is right in front of new zealand has a lot of submarine volcanoes and I believe that they have been going off. Now, unfortunately, it's such a remote type of area that, you know, the last time they had an eruption, submarine volcanoes at the Kermitic Islands, they weren't seen for quite some time, but they were spotted eventually by pilots. Um, and so I believe that these uh, under-ocean volcanoes are erupting in that area and I believe that that's what's causing all the beaching of these whales and I think that what's happening over there is that all this volcanic activity is waking things up down there under the ocean floors there have been so many five point plus earthquakes along the Antarctic and there have been uh, earthquakes going on in the Kermitic Islands. You have a lot of submarine volcanoes and earthquakes all along the Antarctic and volcanoes. And so this is what's causing the beaching. This is what's causing the fires. They're only going to get worse because we are living in the last days. And we need to draw close to Christ because he is our only protection. The Bible says that he will protect his people. And there are so many people now, they don't know what's going on. Why is all this stuff happening in epic proportions? And I know people have said, oh, you know what? All oh, this stuff has been happening since the beginning of time. Yeah, we've had earthquakes, we've had volcanoes, we've had all kinds of stuff. Floods, fires, yeah. But not to the degree that we have them today. Check the, the statistics and you'll see. You know, they, they are increasing in proportion, in seismicity, in uh, uh, quantity. And now you hear everything is an epic, epic flood, epic this, epic that, thousand year flood, un unprecedented. It's all over the place, you know. And if you're, if you're a watcher, you'll see that these things are definitely going on. So I mention this only because, you know, we need to keep our eye on Christ. We need to focus on the Word. And um, things are going to get a lot worse. You know, the plagues are going to open. And, uh, you know, if you study the book of Revelation, you'll see everything is panning out. A third of the ocean is going to die. It's dead. The Pacific Ocean, more than a third of the Pacific Ocean now is officially dead. Fukushima, all of these submarine volcanoes and earthquakes, it's, it's just dead. You, you, you see all, you know, the coral reefs and everything. A third of the, 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 the planet's going to have fires. You see all these fires going on all over the place. This is in the book of the Revelation. What else does it say? A a drought, a famine, all of this stuff is going on, and it's epic. Worldwide, it's epic. Nothing is going to stop it. It's not going to get better. Things are going to get worse. Embrace yourself, because 
it's just a matter of time. Martial law gets passed. They persecute Christians. You know, they, they call us, uh, you know, haters because, you know, we want to stick to the word of God. You know, we, we stand up against homosexuality or transgenderism, LGBT. Why? Because we stick to the word of God. So, uh, you know, don't, don't let these things discourage you. Just know that prophecy is fulfilling uh, very quickly. And, and stay strong in the Lord, because he that said he will come, will come. And um, the signs are all around us. And I know people will discourage you and say, oh, all these things have been going on since the beginning of time. But what I want you to know is this. What's different today that was different five years ago, 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago, when our ancestors hundreds of years ago, all, all throughout time, they kept saying, oh, the Lord's going to come back soon, the Lord's going to come back soon. What is different today in 2017? I'll tell you what's different. We have the Internet. We have Twitter. We have Facebook. We have Tumblr. We have uh, everything. We have the Internet. And so they didn't have that back then. And the gospel now has pretty much almost been reached to every nation on earth. And that's what Christ said in Matthew 24. This gospel shall be preached unto all the world, and then the end shall come. So right now, the planet is in birth pangs. There's birth pangs going on everywhere. And it's getting closer and closer and closer. The harvest is coming. And so... What's going on now is we have the World Wide Web. The gospel's almost in every country. And, it, it, you know, you could say something here. I can make a video. And somebody all over the world can be watching this video. They never had that before, ever in history. And that's what's different today. So when people tell you, as a Christian, oh, yeah, they've been saying that since the beginning of time. What's different now? Oh, you know, we've been having all this. I'll tell you what's different now is the gospel's been reached almost in every country. And that was the stipulation before. But now that we have the Internet and the World Wide Web and Facebook and Twitter, it's just a matter of time before it's everywhere. And then the end shall come. You're going to see meteors getting worse, asteroids, fireballs, all this stuff. It's going to happen because the Bible is the only thing we can trust in this day and age. May God bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and grant you peace. Bye-bye. Please subscribe to my channel and um, share it. And uh, um, give me a thumbs up. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.